we're making a week today but the kind of week we're making today is unusual unlike all of my weeks that i've been making and we're going to be using this synthetic hair right here like this hair i have with me right here when you're choosing synthetic hair to make your hair be careful to choose the right one synthetic hair can be very beautiful if you know how to choose them so let's quickly get into this video while i explain everything to you guys <laughs> so this kind of seems like a vlogging which was not actually what i meant to do but i just wanted to show you guys something quickly so this is about 9 a.m in the morning close to my house i just needed to run a little bit of errand I'm on my way to the supermarket to pick up some things. You guys know that situation when you wake up in the morning, you just have to brush your teeth and you just quickly want to pick up something in the supermarket and you have no time to start dressing your wig or putting on your wig. This is one of those situations I have right here. And that's why I'm about to show you guys this wig I'm putting on. You guys see the hair I have on? So this is a cap. This wig was actually, this hair is actually attached to this cap. So simply what I did was to attach this hair to this cap and I call it the Aran wig. It's a kind of cap in this winter you can quickly put on to cover your ear, to secure your ear because I for one is someone who has ear problem. I have ear problem from my left ear. So when it's winter, I always have ear pain and I don't joke with my ears. I always cover them. So this cap is something I really want to show you guys and how easy it is to achieve. And another good thing about this cap is that you can actually detach this particular hair from this cap and you can actually still put on another one inside the cap. So let's go into the video. Let me show you guys how I achieve this cap I'm having. This is a cap. And the, patch of the hair is attached to the cap. Hello my Krista, you're welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Christiana Aku and I'm back here with another video. Who missed me? I know I've been away for a while. I'm so sorry guys. A lot of things are happening and i just have to like stay off social media for a while but i'm back like i never left so we're going to be making a kind of a cap that you can use in this winter period so we need this cap i'm holding right here but you need the one that has like two lining i hope that makes sense like you can actually put it like outside two sides something like that yeah that's what we need you also need a piece of cloth like this a steady one you don't need a stretchy cloth okay so you need a stretchy a, a steady cloth not something that stretches this one i have in my hand here looks something like um what should i use to describe it like a jean something that is strong okay for this type of cap we're making or you don't need something stretchy and you also need this kind of pin you can get this pin in any tailoring shop around you you can just also find it in a dollar shop this is just like the kind of hook in your bra the one you use to hook your bra which means you know you need two you need the one you you hook it on so you need two type of this kind of pin to make this tie i'm making and if you don't want to be detaching this uh style that i'm making you don't need this pin if you want to just leave it in the cap you can just go ahead and sew it on the cap so basically what we're doing here today is we're going to be sewing this hair on this cap you understand and i'm going to tell you the reason why i'm doing this as time goes on you understand i'm going to tell you the reason why i actually came up with this idea i've been seeing people doing this also on youtube i've done something like this a long time ago i've used uh, braids i've used i even have like the face cap um wig on on some of my um hairline and some of something like that but i'm just creating this one as a diy something that you can do at home not it doesn't have to look really professionally you understand just something you can do at home so right here you can see me pinning down uh, my piece of cloth what you want to do is you just want to use the piece of cloth to measure your head and get your ear to ear measurements right from the back I hope that makes sense just like the way i put it on the head of the mannequin you want to do that on your head and get your measurement and so after taking the measurement the the next thing you need to do is you want to draw two straight lines like i'm doing right now and the reason why you have to draw these two straight line is you want to make sure that you're having a guideline of where you're going to be sewing so for the weft of the hair that i'm going to be sewing i'm going to be doubling my weft into four 
the reason why i want to double my waist into four is i don't want so much track on the hair so i just want only two tracks here so that's why i'm doubling my waist. so you can put as much hair as you can handle that's going to be your decision to make so just make sure you're going on these straight lines from starting to ending that's the most important part okay so now that i've talked about that let me say a little bit about my channel if this is your first time of coming across my channel i go by the name christiana akuru you are welcome please take a seat and welcome to my channel here on my channel i do um wig tutorial most especially this is what this channel is known for i make wig tutorial i actually i have videos of teaching professional wig classes from foundation for those of you who want to learn how to make wigs professionally i have videos that i'll be putting the cards in between these videos for you to check out those my videos where i talked about how to take measurement of your circumference how to start a wig from the start the right way to sew your closure front i have a lot of videos that talk about wig tutorial okay so if this sounds like something that's an interesting to you please 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 my darling right now just click on that subscription button that is showing on the screen so you can subscribe and join this family and my community here we go by the name krista so whenever you hear me calling the krista you know that i'm referring to you people so now let me just leave you to enjoy this video and i'll come back to talk to you if there's anything really important that i would that I, I will talk to you about and if you notice that i've not posted for a while i'm so 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 sorry guys like I got a lot of message from you guys dm and also on my emails i'm really grateful that you guys are actually checking up on me it means a lot to me i've been uh, really down recently due to what is happening in nigeria and also my personal stuff and i just decided to stay away from social media for a little while so i can you know get back my mind <laughs> i was almost losing it so let's just uh let me just not bore you guys with my own story and allow you to watch the video tutorial Uh, let me just not bore you guys. you're enjoying the video so far please if you're still here by this time it's because you're actually enjoying this tutorial and you're learning one or two things so please just do the three things that is on this screen for me please please just help me to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share this video
saw with me earlier is a synthetic hair i don't know the name of this hair i can't even rem remember the name of this hair i just bought this hair because i'm always careful when i buy synthetic i finished sewing all of the full hair the hair is a synthetic but i think it's an imitation of fumi coils so if you're going to get the human hair on you will know what the name is but this hair was not more than 10 dollars some 10 euros something like that i think in nigeria it should be about 1500 or 1000 naira, something like that so i finished sewing this hair and now i am attaching my hook to it i obviously i think everyone already know what i'm trying to do the idea i'm trying to go for so the idea i'm trying to go for is i'm trying to attach my hook to the main weave on so i'm attaching the flat hook on the hair then i'm going to be attaching the other one that the other part of the hook to the cap so the, the to a black cloth that i will be sewing on the cap so the reason why i'm doing that is that i want to be able to use this same cap to wear different styles of this particular style either the braid the the the, the rat lies the rasta the braid the twisted or another type of reform that's the idea behind the whole of this thing so i just want to have it in a way that i can actually decide that i don't want to use the cap I can decide that i don't want to use that um that cap that hair under the cap and i want to wear the cap alone i'll just remove this hair or maybe this hair gets tangled i don't want to damage the cap i'll just remove the hair something like that so this is how it's looking at like right now so the next thing i did was to sew this cloth i'm showing you right now on the cap then sew all of this hook on the cap and whenever i just want to use this hair i can just fix it by hooking it just like you hook your bra you know like this hook by hooking it on the other side on on the cap and then everything is still okay i hope that makes sense please just pardon my explanation i'm just coming back fully and i'm trying to you know get back on track when you're doing something and you go out for a while it looks like you're starting all over again okay i hope you guys are able to learn something from this video i really wish that someone is able to learn something it will mean a lot to me if there's any question you like to ask me please put it down in the comment section below i would answer all your question if there's any special video you want me to do for you guys please just comment below and ask the video i am going to try my best to actually do the video and for the hair that i did the last time that i said i was going to give out as a giveaway i haven't given it out yet because like i said i've been staying off social media so i've not been able to have time to actually give out the hair out yet okay so i'm just gonna leave you guys to watch this video this week the reason why i actually did this hair is because I always like to wear my cap when it's winter like caps like this like head warmer because um, my ears I don't like to expose my ears too much I don't know if it's an allergy I don't know but it's something that always happened to me since I came to Europe that I noticed whenever it's winter and it's so windy and cold my ear uh, to the on, to the left side of my face when it's windy to it get swell and I'll be having pain affecting my ears and my teeth so during the winter time uh, my doctor always advised me to always cover my ear like it's really really one of the important things that i do during the winter i don't leave my ears open at all i cover them either with caps or i cover them with this um stuff that look like earphones stuff like that so that's what i do so i would attach this black cloth now to the cap you understand and then i can just hook the other one to it and voila our wake cap is ready if you like this idea tell me what you like about it tell me what you don't like about it if there's something you think i did and you would have done differently please leave it in the comment section below i want to interact with you guys there i want to see what you guys think about this creativity if it was a good idea if it wasn't yeah tell me why you didn't like it if it is so this is an errand cap you can just wear and go and run errands you know so this is the cap i'm wearing right here just like i told you guys in the beginning of the video you know those days where those time where you don't want to start coming a cap or start dressing a wig and blah 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 you just want to run out this is one of the simple idea and you're still going to be looking good you don't want to be caught on fresh you know that kind of thing in this video yeah like i said i've not had my bad but then you'll get harder hair on people who know me that i do on wig would see me outside and be thinking that i'm rocking a luxury wig and at the end of the day, this is just a $5, $10 hair. You can use any hair of your